Good morning! Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the bridal shower vlog. I am so excited. I cannot believe it's already my bridal shower weekend. It came so fast. I feel like time is just going by so fast ever since Kyle and I got engaged, but I have really, really been looking forward to this bridal shower because my maid of honor, my bridesmaids, and my mom all threw it for me, and I just know they're going to make it so special. It's all going to be a surprise to me. They haven't really told me much, so I'm just going to walk in and see it all for the first time. And even Kyle will be making a little cameo. He'll be coming around one o'clock to help me over presents and say hi to everybody. So I am so excited. I have a bridal hair and makeup trial in the morning right before my shower, just because I figured we got to do a hair and makeup trial anyway. Why not get all glammed up right before my bridal shower? I thought that was the best idea. So I'll take you guys along with me through that appointment as well. I'm gonna put on my PJs real quick and I will see you guys when I'm all dressed. Just got out of the shower. I am trying to air dry my hair. I usually try to air dry my hair as much as I can before going in with my round brush um, just to minimize the amount of heat. But I did use purple shampoo today and I feel like it lightened my hair quite a bit. I don't use purple shampoo every time I wash my hair, just like once every other week, honestly, not even every week. But my hair is growing out. I'm trying to grow it out for the wedding. I chose a hairstyle that needs long hair. And although my hair, I mean, it is long right now, I would like it to be even longer for the wedding. And my hair just grows so slow. I don't know what it is. Like I use very minimal heat on my hair. I always put like really healthy products in it. I take really good care of it. Um, but my hair for my entire life, it just takes so long to grow. Don't cut it that often, but I do get just like healthy trims to keep the ends healthy. Um, I don't know what it is about it. Just like doesn't grow that fast. Maybe because I get highlights and like bleach it every few months that like stunts its growth. I don't know. I'm gonna show you guys what I just um, cleaned my phone with. It's like really cool contraption. This is a screen cleaner from Timu. It is seriously so cool. It is like a spray screen cleaner and wipe all in one. All I did was put some of my at home glass cleaner into the little bottle that comes in this cute little case and you pop it out and you can spray your phone with it. And then the case that it's in is this like microfiber case so you can just wipe the spray away with its own bottle. So cool. Like I said, that was from Timu, which is an online marketplace and I've talked about them before and I've gotten clothes from them before, but they're an online marketplace with so many different categories. They have home, kitchen, pets, clothing, jewelry, shoes, you name it, everything at super affordable and competitive prices. I feel like I've also gotten so many other just like very useful things from Timu that I've used around the house and showing you guys that phone screen cleaner just made me think of the rest of them so I wanted to show you them. We'll call this segment things that you didn't know that you needed in your house that you definitely need. As long as we are on the topic of random things that you didn't know you needed that you do, I know this looks <laughs> super weird, kind of wrong, honestly, but this is a dryer vent cleaner. So that hard to reach area in your dryer vent that stores all of the dust and lint, you can get into by putting in that little end down there and then attaching a vacuum to it. It works like a charm. Trust me, our dryer vent gets so dirty and clogged. I've been wanting one of these forever and this was so affordable, like seriously a couple dollars from Timu. Another amazing invention that I got from Timu is this avocado cutter and slicer. So, so useful if you eat a lot of avocados like I do and want to slice them up for avocado toast. This is the best. It has a little knife to slice it open and then obviously to slice it down the middle. It's the best. Another super, let's be real, these are all very random objects, but another super random one. Ooh, look at that light. So pretty. Anyway, another random purchase is this glass spray bottle. Honestly, you could use a glass like mister for anything, but I wanted to buy one of these to put olive oil in to keep on our kitchen counters just because we use olive oil on so many things. Always are spraying like our chicken with it for dinners and stuff like that so you can just pour olive oil in here and then you can get like an even coat on your chicken. I thought that was so genius and it's a really nice quality glass spray bottle. Also just purchased from Timu some of these um, rug corner stickies is what I call them. They basically just keep down the corner of your rugs. I have been using them on every single rug that we have in our new house just because I cannot stand when the rugs come up in the corners. I just bought this cute little magnet to put on our dishwasher in the kitchen. Obviously just says clean and dirty so that Kyle and I both know if it's clean or dirty on the inside. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always the one that struggles with opening like hard to open jars. <laughs> so I got some of these like grippies to open jars just when 
Kyle's not home and I'm an independent woman. I need to be able to open those hard to get jars on my own. So I got some of these grippies, which are seriously lifesavers. I know you thought that the random purchases were over, but we still have a few more to go. Another random purchase I've been loving is this electronic grinder for pepper or salt. You can put sea salt in here or peppercorn and you just press this button and it grinds the salt or pepper to put on your meals. You guys have probably seen me use this in a couple of videos, but I love to froth my creamer and my coffee with this little milk frother right here. It's battery operated and you just press this button and it froths your milk, your coffee, your creamer, and it works so well. So random and something that I had never thought of until I saw someone post this little kitchen hack on Instagram. This is a cord hider, so you can put this, um, it sticks with a little sticky on the back of any of your appliances. We have one on the back of our KitchenAid and our coffee maker, and you can wrap the wires, the cords around the back so that it hides them. I thought this was so genius so you don't have to have them hanging out and showing all day every day. What looks like a lipstick or chapstick is actually an AirPods cleaner or just a headphones cleaner. To be real, our headphones can get pretty dirty, so I love to have this little cleaner. Obviously that pointy tip gets in those like hard to reach areas. This can clean out the dust and this can kind of get inside of the earplugs. So cute, easy to take with you wherever you go, even if you're traveling and clean them whenever you want. I have been looking for some of these reusable freezer bags or kind of like reusable Ziploc bags, but they are like heavy duty plastic to keep frozen fruit for smoothies in our freezer. And I found some on Timu for a really affordable price. So I stocked up on these. What Kyle thought was a little drying rack to put on our kitchen sink is not. In fact, it is a clothing hanger. It's kind of a little hack so that you can hang all of your jeans and then drop them to create more space in your closet. Last but certainly not least, this is probably my favorite purchase from Timo. This is a vegetable chopper, which I'm sure you guys have seen. You can put your fruits or veggies in this little bin and chop it down to chop them into a bunch of little pieces. So, so helpful for meal prepping and just to have some healthy snacks in your fridge. Love it. Timu has free shipping for new users and free returns for up to 90 days. It has just been like my go-to online shopping place lately. So if you guys want to check out any of the products that I showed today, or if you want to check out the rest of their store, I will have Timu linked in the description box below along with a discount code. Happy bridal shower day. It is bright and early in the morning. It's eight o'clock. I just arrived at my bridal hair and makeup trial, brought the dresses and a bunch of stuff to get ready afterwards. Um, I'm really excited for this trial. My friend, one of my bridesmaids was the one who gave me the idea to do this before my bridal shower because she did that for hers. And I was like, that's so genius to get your hair and makeup trial done the morning of your bridal shower because you can show up to your bridal shower all glammed and see how the makeup and hair holds up throughout the day and everything. Um, this is my first trial. So I really don't even know what exactly I want. I have ideas. I'm going to talk to them about it. I'll put pictures up on the screen. I'm thinking for makeup, I want like pink tones, like pink and like really glowy tones. I'll put that on the screen so you can kind of see what I mean. But I feel like pink like brings out the blue in my eyes and it's just like summery. And then for hair, I'm thinking I want to do Hollywood waves. I have never had Hollywood waves done on my hair before. So this will definitely be the trial to see if I even like it. And then with Hollywood waves, you can do your part like a bunch of different ways. You can either have it like down in the front, like a center part. You can have it like a side part. I bought a few like hair pieces to put my hair to. My friend did say that she like kind of changed up her hair last minute before going to her bridal shower so that her fiance wouldn't see like the full look. I don't know if I really am going to change it. Kyle, he's not going to remember. He's not going to like think about it on the wedding day. He doesn't really care if he like sees it today or anything. It's just hair. Um, but we'll see. I really have no idea kind of like what we're going to come up with. So I'm really excited. I'll try to film as much as I can and show you guys kind of the process and how it all works. I have two amazing girls. Holly is doing my makeup and then Lacey is doing my hair. It's 8.30, almost 8.30. So I'm going to start off with makeup and I'm at Holly's house and then Lacey's gonna come at like 9.30 and do my hair and then I need to leave here around 
11 to get to my bridal shower. So I'm bringing in all my stuff. I'm just gonna like change into my dress and everything um, in her bathroom before uh, heading out to my bridal shower since I am heading straight there. So I'm going to text Holly and let her know that I am here and I'll take you guys <laughs> I made a big mistake of not bringing a backup camera battery so I did not get as much footage as I would have liked at the bridal shower but I hope you guys got to see at least a little sneak peek of what it turned out to be. My maid of honor and bridesmaids did such a good job and my mom of throwing this for me I was blown away like they put in so much work and it turned out more beautiful than I ever could have expected. It was the best day. I'm so, so grateful to have the best friends and family. And yeah, it was just the best day. My hair and makeup turned out so good. We'll be making a few adjustments um, to the hair and makeup on the wedding day, but for the most part, this is kind of the vibe we're going for with like the pinky tones and the Hollywood waves. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me through this bridal shower journey. It was the best day ever. Seriously, I cannot believe it's already over. I cannot believe our wedding is only a couple months away. I have so much to look forward to though. I get to look forward to my bachelorette party coming up in just a month and then the wedding in a couple months. So I'm so excited, so grateful. Obviously I'm already back in my comfy clothes. Those heels really weren't too bad to walk in. They're pretty comfortable. I wore them for hours. My feet didn't get sore until like the third or fourth hour. So if that goes to show anything, get them. They're so cute, 
so bridal. I got so many compliments on them, so many compliments on my dress. I will have my dress and heels linked down in the description box below if you do want to shop them. Thank you again so much for watching and for all of your support on all these bridal videos. I've been having so much fun filming them for you guys. I am going to do a sit down or not like wedding Q&A. So if you guys are interested in seeing a Q&A video, let me know and I'll have you guys submit some questions here and on Instagram and I'll do like a little get ready with me and a wedding Q&A coming up soon. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.